Hello, hello, and welcome back. Okay, time to tell you what is on the show today. First of all, we've got Neville McKay here, our lovely Ooh. Neville. There he is, everybody cheer. <laughs> We're talking about changing your decor with the changing season, right, Neville? Right, and Neville's not Mike, but that's... He's saying yes, yes, that's what we're doing. And also today, it is Wednesday, Lori Barker is here, and we are continuing with our theme of Grilled Cheese Month. Hit the music, please. There's no music. There it is. <laughs> shake it, Lori, shake it. Here it <laughs> I was down in the basement. I couldn't get the CD player going there for a second. There it is. Oh, it's stunning. It's enough. <laughs> also on the show we have with us today, we're going to have, do we got the Cadillac? Do we got the big Canadian flag caddy? Uh, I don't know if yet? it's here yet, but uh, Well, both cameras are inside, so it really doesn't matter if it is. That's right. <laughs> We've got uh, Walter Liley is going to be here, and uh, he's the brother of Adam. Uh, that Walter and Adam are filmmakers that made uh, this documentary about their search for the American dream. It's That's playing right. at the uh, Atlantic Film Fest tonight. We'll tell you all about it. And you got to check out their car they have because yeah. it's, uh, yeah. it's pretty and darn quite cool. And a story, too. Absolutely. We also have some folks here uh, from Camp uh, Dragonfly. We have uh, the Demix. Uh, Kyle and Kaylee are here with Lynn Horton. This is uh, a wonderful camp uh, for folks who have... Uh, we, we've had them on before talking about uh, younger kids that have lost a, a loved one, a sibling, or a parent. Well, they have a camp for teenagers as well uh, who have uh, lost somebody close to them, and it's helped them to deal with grief issues. So we're going to talk to them about that mm -hmm. uh, a little bit later. And, and last but certainly not least, we've got Amy Campbell back with us today. Thank Amy, you. welcome back to the show. Hey. Very talented Halifax singer-songwriter who's going to be playing this weekend at the Lord Nelson. We'll tell you about that event in just a little while. And I think that covers it, doesn't that it? That does cover everything. Except. And now Cyril is standing by. Cy, we've, we've had ourselves quite a day so far, haven't we? We, we certainly have had quite a day. And in case, uh, you know, my face doesn't look quite right, I had an awful battle with the makeup. Well, it, it never does look quite right, but I <laughs> yeah. mean, yeah, we, well, we know that. Bobo, let's just say Bobo and Giggles used their brand new clown, clown makeup a today. A brand new I, clown I makeup today, and the, it, uh, it was not good. For the makeup wash. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't You're good, but good it got intense. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to keep it together uh, long enough so that we can talk to uh, Jerry Lund. We're down at the uh, Maritime Museum of the Atlantic, and it's Hurricane Havoc, in case you folks had not heard. I mean, it's been in the news uh, a tremendous amount lately, obviously, with uh, all the damage in the uh, southern United States. But, uh, Jerry, uh, you guys are going to uh, let people come in, take a look at uh, some of the pictures and things that you have here, but just tell us a little bit about what's going to be going on over the next uh, month or so here at the museum. Hurricane Havoc uh, basically commemorates uh, Hurricane Juan last year, but of course storms were right in the middle of one of the busiest storm seasons. So we've got a giant wall map uh, tracking current hurricanes. We've got a number of uh, interpretive panels talking about what is a hurricane, why did Juan come so close, a number of giant photo displays around the foyer here that you can see photos right after Juan, illustrated talks. We've got a public forum scheduled for October 2nd. So there's a whole bunch of things. And the best part of it is, all of that stuff that I mentioned, it's free admission. Free admission. Yeah. Free admission. How not can you beat that? Not to the museum, but to this area right. and those talks. Can't beat it. And uh, you're also uh, partnering with the uh, Hurricane, Center. Hurricane Center as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, they, they have been our most important partners with this. And partner is the right word because we wouldn't have been able to pull together the kind of information like our giant wall map and tracking, daily tracking, twice plotting where the hurricanes are at the moment without their help. They've been invaluable to us. Excellent. Okay, and you know what else we're going to do today? We're going to go outside yeah. and we're going to do a little test to see how strong the wind is. Yeah, we'll have a look. I, I mean, I almost got blown off the wharf there. <laughs> no, it is windy out there. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. We'll uh, take a look back at Hurricane 1. We'll also talk to somebody from the Hurricane Center. And we'll check the wind pressure for you just to see if those hurricanes are on the way. We're going to take a break and we'll see you back here in just a little while. David, come on in. Nancy, the doctor will see you now. I hope he doesn't change my medication. How would you feel if this was your diagnosis? From just over $2 a day, Blue Cross covers most of your family's health care costs that aren't paid for by your provincial health plan. Single people can pay even less. Call now and get the coverage you need to get on with your life.
If life were like that, there wouldn't be the Visa Win What You Buy contest. Use your Visa card and you could win your Visa purchases for the month. There's a winner every day. You could be next. Hey, Sally. Taking a break? My wrists are on fire. Have you tried this? Will it work? Extra strength aspirin helps extinguish the pain of muscle inflammation at the site. Thanks. Extra strength aspirin really worked. Extra strength aspirin helps extinguish fiery muscle pain. My temperature is right. The oven is preheated. Our time is now. A Clarica advisor can make sense of almost anything. It's baby-making time. It's in the life. Even family planning. Thank you. Clarica. Health insurance, life insurance, and investment. We're back with Amy Campbell. And Amy, I can assure you that things are going to go better this time. The last time Amy was on the show, remember we had Joe on the deck? I, I do remember. And uh, we had, I, I think, pretty much all of Halifax's emergency vehicles passed by during your two songs, didn't they? We did. We also had a little sound flub, and when I started to play, uh, Glory Hallelujah came out from the sound check inside. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. right. We had another, we had another musical act sound checking inside. That's that's right. It, it certainly gave your guitar a, a big band yeah, effect, a full though. Sound, yeah. Absolutely. Sound. Let's take a look at your latest CD. It's called uh, Architecture. What? What was that? I, I'll let me show you right here now. Architecture. Live at the Opera House is her latest CD. She's going to play a tune called Satellite here for us in just a second. But uh, you're a busy woman this weekend, aren't you? I am. I have a full weekend plan. There we go. <laughs> you have a full weekend plan Friday. See, nothing ever goes smoothly no. for me. It's nothing me. ever. It, it's, it's you, isn't it? It's not me. It's Amy. It so tell us, this Friday night, what's going on? This Friday night, I'm uh, doing a solo show at the Grad House on the Dell campus. And then Saturday night, I'm really excited to be part of this uh, benefit for the Animal Rescue Coalition and Bide Wild Animal Shelter called Kaylee for Critters. We had them in as guests yesterday. They yeah. brought a few animals with them yeah. as well. Yeah, that's at the Lord Nelson in Halifax at uh, 7 o'clock. Here's Amy Campbell with Satellite. system that she would be the sun. You don't fall in love with her, you just enter orbit. Hold on. I am just a satellite lost floating in the void. I need your gravity to touch down now, to touch down Feel the ground beneath my feet. Let me water where we land. Leave your trees and rocky sand. Put the blue up in the sky. Won't hold a candle to your eyes. I would make this world as lovely as your smile. I know you're like a book, but I can't read you. And it's plain to see you're hungry. It's not my place to feed you, so I'll spend the day beside you. Then I'll walk the long road back alone. Holding on. There were wild roses at the roadside. They were bending to be near you. And although I couldn't see your face, I swore that I could hear you thinking goodbye. Maybe if there's a better way, we haven't found it yet. But I started missing you the day we met. Reality is cold here, out in space. And you long for warming suns, and you love without a face. And every time you think the road is done, you turn around now with your Just a satellite lost floating in the rings And to feel your arms 
around me, honey, that would mean everything. Would mean your holding on. I see you in the distance, but I can't reach you. And you're shining like the sun. How could I hope to heat you? So give me just today, love, and just one little piece of your tomorrow. They were trembling to be near you And although I couldn't see your face I swore that I could hear you thinking goodbye Babe, if there's a better way We haven't found it yet But I started missing you the day we met Sit with me on the beach and watch the stars Out of space won't seem so cold from where you so I'll spend the night beside you Then I'll walk the long road back alone The city is a system and you're the sun And I am just your satellite I am just your satellite Touchdown now, it's a touchdown now I am just your satellite I am just your satellite. Hold on. This portion of BT was brought to you by Music Stop. Can your diaper pass the baby test? Baby shaped Huggies can. They're the only stretch and stretch curb to fit tough on leaks diapers. Nothing hugs like baby shaped Huggies. Can your diaper pass the baby test? Baby shaped Huggies can. They're the only stretch and stretch curb to fit tough on leaks diapers. Nothing hugs like baby shaped Huggies. Enter the panoramic dimension. Discover the wide-angle look. L'Oreal invents Panoramic Curl, the first eye-opening mascara with extreme eight-hour curling power. New patented Lift Curl Brush separates and fans out lashes for a 360-degree effect. New FlexiTech Formula curls lashes to the extreme for eight hours. For a panoramic opening of your eyes. New Panoramic Curl from L'Oreal Paris. Discover the wide-angle look, because you're worth it. My first day at Weight Watchers, my meeting leader asked everyone what they wanted to achieve. Not like, how much weight do you want to lose, but what would be different in your life? And I realized that what I wanted most was energy to keep up with my family. Let Weight Watchers help you reach your goals with new turnaround. Choose the approach that fits you best, our points plan or no counting plan. Call 1-866-567-2499 for the location nearest you and watch yourself change. Here's a way to make painting easier. It's the new Beauty Tone Flex Brush, only from Home Hardware. You can use it as a regular paintbrush or extend the handle to reach higher without awkward stretching. Twist the flexible neck and you can paint corners and edges more easily. And the easy to clean heads are interchangeable and suitable for all types of paint. The fully guaranteed Beauty Tone Flex Brush. It's a great value at just $10.97, only at Home Hardware and Home Building Center. Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. Okay, we're here with Stephen James May and Wally, or Walter Liley. These guys uh, have traveled across the United States in search of the American dream. You guys ended up putting together a fantastic film that's going to be showing tonight at Park Lane at 925. Let's take a quick look at that clip, and then we'll introduce the car. <laughs> And now that I'm a 33-year-old filmmaker living in Halifax, Nova Scotia, I've decided to buy a Cadillac, paint it up, and hit the open road to find the soul of America. Okay, so we're still looking at some pictures here, but okay, that was your brother that we were listening to, right, Wally? That was Wally's brother, Wally's yeah. brother, Adam. Yeah. And he's just always had a dream of 
sort of searching for the American dream. A, a bit of an kind of obsession. Fascination with American yeah. culture. Well, where we grew up, it, we were border, uh, born in a border town, so we we're always getting the American feed of TV, and it all. Just, I guess to him, it seemed just a lot more glamorous, and we'd go shopping there, and everything was cheaper and more wonderful. Where, where was your hometown? It's right near London, Ontario. So we had about an hour and a half to Windsor, the Detroit. We, we were influenced by American TV as well here, but we got dubbed WLBZ out of Bangor, which really t <laughs> explains why we're so messed up down here. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> Stephen James May was uh, the producer, and, and Wally, you did various and sundry drove things. the car, did yeah. the sound. Uh, I kept us out of the ditch, yeah, and these guys did a lot of sleeping while I drove and uh, some mechanic stuff and just helped out wherever I could, really, like, uh, you know, it's... You guys ended up covering 16,000 miles. Over 49 days. How, how do you, Stephen, how do you produce something like that? How do you... Well, you know, it seemed like a pretty uh, daunting task, I'm hey, sure. How much tape do you have after something like that? We had a, a lot of tape to sort through, um, and it took a while. It took about two years to put the financing together, I guess, and uh, Adam came to me and said he wanted to do this documentary about the American dream, and I didn't really know any better, so I said, sure, and, but here we are, and uh, it was quite a, quite a task. It, there was a crew of three, and they did, uh, they did the whole continental U.S. about once and a half in, uh, in seven weeks. So it was quite a grueling trek, and without Walter, this car probably wouldn't be here right now. He really kept it rolling. And oh were, were all you guys in the car? Like how many in the car? I, um, they don't, they don't allow the producer to do fun stuff. I just stay in the yeah. office. You know, yeah. so they know how to keep me You're on the phone. out of charge, out of trouble. But no, these guys. It was uh, Warren Jeffries, the local cameraman, and uh, Wally and Adam. They, that was the crew. So three guys in the caddy, and this was their production vehicle. They lived in it. They Can slept in it. Did, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have to give my father credit. Yes. He's the one that painted this. Okay. And he, he was under a real tight time constraint. He did this in two days, and it's remarkable to do two colors in two days. Yeah, not bad at all, Beautiful. eh? Yeah. Now, well, that, we haven't even talked about the car yet. Yeah, the, uh, the, the title of the movie is, uh, is Come On Down, uh, The American Dream. But you got the, the cars painted up like the Canadian flag. I'm sure that must have raised some eyebrows in the States. Well, yeah. that was kind of the goal. Uh, when Adam first proposed it, I it was a kind of a rusty blue to start with, and I, I wasn't quite sure about it. But he wanted to draw attention. You know, he wanted people to come to him, and uh, it, it served that purpose. And overall, it was a positive response. Um, you know, people uh, asking, uh, you know, you know where we're from and what what the crew was doing, and uh, they sort of gave us what they perceived to be their own American dream or, or what it might be. So that was the goal. Well, it sounds like a fun road trip uh -huh, and I'm absolutely. sure it's a fun movie as well. So it's on, uh, it's going to be on tonight at uh, Park Lane Cinema, 925 I understand? That's right. Yeah. World premiere. World premiere, yeah. yeah, here in Halifax and uh, it'll be at the Calgary International Film Festival next week and um, yeah, should everyone should come on down. The car will be out front. You're going to drive the car to Calgary? Uh, well, I don't know. There's an idea for you. Start. Don't start. <laughs> he really oh, wants man. to stay away from the car. Yeah. Steven, thanks a lot. Wally, thanks, thanks a lot for coming. And thanks once so again, that's Park Lane in, tomorrow Thank night, 925. Cy, si, what's going on down there, man? Uh, well, down here we're on uh, Hurricane Watch because it's a uh, Hurricane Havoc, a look back at uh, Hurricane One. And just keeping an eye on tracking hurricanes, for instance, uh, Jean, Carl, and Lisa are all uh, moving through right now off the uh, coast of Africa and heading our way. And uh, Peter Boyer is joining me now. He's the uh, program manager at the Hurricane Center. And Peter, first of all, tell us, what, why do all these uh, storms originate off the uh, coast of Africa and, and head our way, the, these big hurricanes? Waters are warm down there. We need to have warm waters to create hurricanes. Uh, it's hurricane season. You need 26 degree water. They've got more than that down there. And this has been a bumper crop year so far. Apart from 1995, this is the busiest season we've seen to this date uh, in the last 50 years. Is there any reason, like, why do we, th are, why all of a sudden in the last 10 years have we had so many hurricanes? We think it's the warm waters out there, and the, the question is, is this normal for, for hurricanes to, to be this, this frequent, or this, uh, you know, you know, this frequent in the last 10 years? We're not sure if this is our fault, the, you know, the infamous global warming connection to us, or if this is part of the natural variability for hurricanes. We only have records that go back 150 years, so this could actually be quite normal. Now, is there any idea, do we have any idea, do we think, can we predict, is one of these storms that may reach us this season? 
uh, we can predict the kind of the seasonal trends. Ten years ago, uh, experts were saying, you know what, the, the next 10 to 30 years are going to be busy in the Atlantic for hurricanes. They were absolutely right. But to say any individual storm, where is it going to make landfall? That's beyond the science. We can't do that more than about four days into the future. All right. So the best thing is just to keep your eye on the weather and, and look for reports and, and see if things are coming our way. All right. Well, thank you very much, Peter. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. you and too. I'm sure you're going to have a busy month ahead of you. It's already been very busy. <laughs> yeah, sure it has. All right. We're going to take a, take a break. We'll be right back. Look at Jerry Hart at work there tracking those hurricanes for us. I think you'll really like Subway's new Baja Chicken. It starts with fresh baked bread, then some nice strips of seasoned chicken breast, a zesty lime chili ancho dressing, topped with lettuce, onion, tomato. You'll love it. Give it a shot. I'm Natasha Shavai, Subway sandwich artist. I thought you were supposed to eat the red ones last. Well, this morning's people have been saying that for years. But yesterday, I tried eating them first. And? You know Vanessa from finance? Oh, yeah. This morning, she walked by my office. And? She never walks by my office. Hello! We interrupt this commercial to tell you that we've taken Smarties, surrounded them with milk chocolate, and created something unbelievably unique. Introducing the new Smarties Bar, available in white and milk chocolate. Just try to eat the red ones last. Ramada Canada announces trip rewards, with more places to earn points and more ways to redeem them. It's as easy as... Ramada, Canada, a very good place to be. Man, with three girlfriends, you really got your work cut out for you. Especially remembering just how each one likes her salad. Luckily, Burger King's here to help you out with three delicious new grilled chicken salads. Garden, Greek, or Caesar. Hey, no mistakes, no heartbreaks, right? The 2004 Mitsubishi Endeavor. 2,163 liters of intelligent cargo space. And with a 3.8 liter V6 standard Sportronic transmission, it still starts under $34,000. And now through November 1st, get great clearance deals like 0% purchase financing for 60 months on all remaining 2004 Mitsubishis. Hurry, offer it soon. I think you'll really like Subway's new Baja Chicken. It starts with fresh baked bread, then some nice strips of seasoned chicken breast, a zesty lime chili ancho dressing, topped with lettuce, onion, tomato. You'll love it. Give it a shot. I'm Natasha Shavai, Subway sandwich artist. This segment of Breakfast Television is brought to you by Tim Hortons. <laughs> Hello, time to give away our breakfast television Tim Hortons mug and today it's going to someone who wrote in. Love the show and the skits you two are not the prettiest gals in the world but you are the funniest. I laugh my butt off every morning then call my sister Lynn and we laugh all over again. Glad to see Maria is the new co-host. She seems to keep you two from getting out of control. Well, not so much. My daughter Lacey loves Bucky. She also watches the show before heading out to school. I can't get her to move when there's a skit on so some morning she is late. Thank you so much for writing in. That comes from the two greatest fans, Lacey and Debbie Hawkins in Cape Breton. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry I'm late. Yeah, I'm getting to it right away, but I, I passed out in the parking lot there. I don't know. I think my blood pressure's getting to me or something. Man, I can't believe I thought I saw giggles out there. That was just nuts. Oh, this job is getting to me. Must be losing my freaking mind. I wonder who put the TP here. This isn't the right place. What the? Hey! Jeez, man, I gotta get to a doctor. This is nuts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. I keep thinking I'm seeing giggles everywhere. I do it. What was that? I thought I heard. Giggles? Giggles? Is, is that you, giggles? 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 Is that you? Wait, yeah, yeah, is it? What do you mean you don't know me? You know who I am. I'm Hobo the Bobo. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're, we're teammates. We're buddies. G Giggles, I know that you. G you no, your name, Giggles, those glasses aren't fooling anybody. Your name, your name's not Brad. No, it isn't. You, wait, no, 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 we don't treat all our customers like, no, 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 don't go, don't go take it. No, 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 I'm already in enough trouble it is. Because I was late today, and I just, it's been a rough day, Giggles. But please, yeah, yeah, I, I <laughs> what, what was that? Do we have Robin Hood by the bay? Not, what? It, I, get out of here. That's not even funny. You're trying to get me, you're going to get me fired. Get out of here. 
Hey, man, I'm sorry he's back already. Okay, that, that's a fresh merit in the north end. Uh, okay. We did that little skit there, mm -hmm. and, and you know what? They're always great to us, so let us come in without any warning. We just come <laughs> in in the craziest costumes. The last time we were there, we were as Kathy and Joan, the uh, oh, I saw that one where the, the kids angry were housewives. Just like, yes. But as we were doing it, we always look off camera and, and are screaming at these fictional kids. Well, the last time we did it, there was this little old lady, looked like she was about 90 years old, and she's pushing her cart. And she just stopped, and she saw us screaming at these kids in her direction. She looked behind her, looked behind her, and looked at us again, and she just couldn't, I don't think, could understand what was going on. Well, guess what? We come in as the clowns today. We're doing this oh, skit. No, and she was Who's again. the first person we see? But this sweet little old lady comes through. Here she is with the cart. Her eyes bugged out like this again. And later on, Not we start. Well, on. later on, she's sick of us, because later on, we start at the checkout. And she wasn't saying anything, but she was looking at the both of us and gone. Shaking her head and giving us dirty looks and wagging her finger at us. So. Oh, anyway. I apologize, ma'am. I'm sorry. And I apologize to anybody else who's been harassed around uh, oh, the Oh, we were HRM bringing a little sunshine to her Or life. anywhere else, for that matter. You were. You were. It is sunshine that you bring. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of sunshine, we hope there's lots of sunshine in the forecast and lots of good news in the news. <laughs> Good morning, it's Wednesday, September 22nd, the first day of fall. I'm Ann Drua with your ATV News update. Let's begin with the weather. A weak cold front will slip down through the Maritimes today. This feature will bring increasing amounts of cloud. Much of New Brunswick will likely see a few scattered showers. And by this evening, the rest of the area could possibly see a few showers as well as the system slips across Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. Afternoon temperatures today will be in the range of 15 to 20 degrees. A former Deputy Minister of Natural Resources and Economic Development will lead a task force to find a buyer for a bankrupt mill in New Brunswick. Premier Lord announced the appointment at a meeting with the St. Anne Nakawick Pulp Mill stakeholders last night in Fredericton. George Bouchard worked on a similar situation seven years ago. Lord says the primary goal is to sell the mill to another operator or investor. As we know there are some decisions that need to be made quickly and we will be prepared to make the decision quickly. Mr. Bouchard will answer to, to me directly, so we can cut through all the red tape. Bouchard will meet today with former mill managers and union representatives. The government says it's willing to provide the mill with $5 million in loans, money it pledged to the company before it closed last week. A New Brunswick man charged with manslaughter in the death of his baby daughter is facing five new charges. 22-year-old Clifford Allen Sullivan is now also accused of assaulting three Mounties and attempting to take an officer's firearm during a struggle on the day he was arrested. He was picked up in August after his infant daughter, Sarah Lynn, died in hospital. An autopsy later revealed she died from foul play. A Calvin Grove PEI farming operation has been fined for a massive fish kill. It happened in the Wilmot River in 2002. The farm pleaded guilty to allowing pesticide contaminated soil and water runoff to enter the river. In all, about 4,500 dead trout were found. George M. Casely and Sons Farm has been ordered to pay $16,300. Well, back to school means back to water fountains for students in 10 Nova Scotia schools. They had been drinking bottled water because of impurities in the water supply. New test results have all come back clear, but not everyone's convinced the water's okay to drink. 